you know, I can go through a career in science, and I've gone through actually two careers, you know, one in science, one as a as a internet entrepreneur, and then a third career as a venture capitalist for, you know, where I've started a number of companies. That has the fact that I was public with my observation and my interest in UFOs has never stopped me. The last fund for which I was a general partner was a $65 million fund for NASA. The people at NASA who entrusted us with the money knew that I had written 12 books about UFOs. It didn't stop them because they, they could tell that I was serious about it and that I had done it you know, within the constraints of science, you know, and within the discipline of science. Uh, again, uh, the, the field is open to speculation, but as a scientist, there are only certain things that you can do if you want to learn something. So that's what kept me going. And to my, I was surprised that I never had, you know, uh, it was it was never an obstacle in my career. But you know what I found uh, in dealing with um, people managing money, with the bankers, with the venture capitalists? The, the millionaires are skeptical. The billionaires are not. Okay? That's the difference. 